it's Megan. Um, welcome or welcome back to m a Design Co. This video is particularly exciting because Angie and I together um, are going through the process of creating and nurturing a garden in our yard. Um, so we are going to actually put out a couple of videos about this, um, try to make them pretty short and sweet. And then that way, if you're interested in one thing and not another, you don't have to watch all of them. In this first video, we're making some raised garden beds on a moderate budget we definitely could have gone cheaper with some materials um, that might have taken more time to put together like smaller boards but put more of them together um, we definitely could have gone more expensive with some prepared kits and things like that um, but we decided to build them ourselves with some moderate price materials we spend less than a hundred dollars total on the materials to build the beds themselves and we build four so it averages out a little less than $25 per bed and that's going to last us several years of use before they need to be replaced. Just know that if you decide to follow along and do this on your own, um, there are a couple of things that you will need. We used um, a drill, obviously. Um, I would really recommend using a drill and not using um, a hammer and nails because the pressure of the soil inside of the beds could push on the edges of the beds and um, maybe push your nails out. So screws are really important in this project. We also used a um, saw to saw the wood. If you don't have a saw of your own and you aren't looking to invest in any, you might just ask folks at the hardware store to cut down your wood in advance just know that most places limit the number of cuts you do for free. A lot of them don't really care as long as they're not super busy, they're happy to do it for you, but just have that in mind. Um, there are totally kits that exist out there for folks, especially beginner friendly kits um, that you can just slap together, but at $25 or less a pop, um, you can't really beat that. And we show you really simple way to put these together with just a couple screws per side. Um, so this is very, very beginner friendly. Um, just the biggest part is if you're not comfortable cutting the wood, make sure to get it cut to your um, desired dimensions at the hardware store. After some discussions over what the hardware store had and what we want for our garden, we decided to go with one by eight boards at six feet long and use some wood we have at home for helping with the corners so that we could save almost $100 over doing 12 inch deep sides. We're going to do eight inch deep sides and till and unbury some of our actual ground underneath to give us a little more depth for the beds that need more depth. And if we need more uh, depth later on, we can add more boards on top later. Yeah. <laughs> Part of our build we screwed the small eight inch pieces of wood that we cut to the end of our three foot boards we made sure that the edges of both boards were flush so that the total depth of our finished beds will be a true three feet after completing this on one side of the three foot board we flipped the board around made sure to attach another eight inch piece to the same face on the other end to finish out this portion of the build. We then repeated this process on one more three foot board to make both ends of one bed. Turn it the other way. <laughs> Angie, turn it around. Because you're screwing to the side. <laughs> After we finished two of the three foot pieces, we attached a six foot board to one side of each of the three foot boards, making one of our long edges of our raised bed. You might just have to do it for a speed or a different. What are the numbers actually? I don't know. For? Torque. Actually, I know. Is it actually torque? 
I wonder if that sound was where it was hitting the other screw. No, that sound was it hitting its, its maximum torque. See? So, we have to go. Hold on, don't do it. Do it while I'm drilling so that no one can hear it. Not because we don't want to hear your story, but like comic, comically, that would just be like, okay, so, so I'm going to tell you this, I'm this meaningful and impactful story about my childhood that helps every single human. Yeah. And go. So, I don't know, I was trying. <laughs> no, you keep stopping. I didn't mean to. I had something. God damn. I'm oh, sorry, I shouldn't do that. No, because I'm going to burn your finger. I know, I know. I, I did, did it. A I did a shit. I was like, like 10 right and uh -huh. my dumb my dad was like doing something with wood my dumb had it oh let me just touch it <laughs> it was like fire i actually i just, literally had like a well, i was screwing earlier that i i literally just did like not that long ago and then i touched and i was like oh that's not there was something i can't tell you what it was but it was something it happened we then flipped everything over and attached one more six foot piece to the other side, finishing off one six foot by three foot raised garden bed. <laughs> oh, they, they couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. Hold on. We want the people at home to be able to see your mistakes. <laughs> Nobody saw that, but it didn't happen. <laughs> there you go, girl. Oh, one done. Yeah. We went ahead and placed our first bed into place just for the fun of it, and then built three more beds in quick succession. Since it was getting dark, we waited until the next day to take a picture of the beds in place, but here is how the four beds turned out before being filled with dirt and plants. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, seeing a little bit of our personalities in there as well, we definitely make an interesting pair, um, but it keeps things fun. So um, if you liked that video and wanna see more videos like it or want to follow our gardening journey, please feel free to like this video, subscribe to our channel, um, click the bell for notifications, all the things that all the like actual proper YouTubers say and that I have no right saying because like, who am I? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that we'll see you on our channel later um, to see more of our gardening adventures. Bye!